Hi, my name is Robert Feranek and today I'll show you how to create top and bottom assembly drawing layer. Assembly drawings are used to identify uh, component position on your PCB and they are mostly used by companies who are fitting components on your board. For each footprint we will need to add a special layer which will contain this designator information. I will use layer mechanical layer 29. Now place string press tab now select here dot designator and place it on layer 29 ok place it in the middle of the component now when you update the footprint And we go to the PCB we will show all layers and find layer 29 as you can see the designators are there but they are both placed on one layer and we want to have separate layer for the designators from top components and the separate layer for the bottom components. We will we will need to create a uh, layer pair. Layer pairs add and I will use layer 29 and layer 30. Okay, okay, okay. Now I go back to the library and I update the footprint again. Go back to the PCB as you can see now the top component is on layer 29 and the bottom components are on layer 30 what is important check if if you have this option this option must be checked otherwise uh, instead of uh, of the component designator you will see there the string dot designator. To make it even better I will add the component outline on this uh, Mechanica 29 layer. I will just copy this outline from silk screen, silk screen layer. Okay, now I will update the footprint. That's it. Now you can place the designators as you like. We need to add this uh, special layer for each footprint and then we will have 
the assembly drawings for top and bottom. Now all components are on my assembly drawing. I also add the small point to show where the pin 1 is located. I also add text, assembly drawing top and uh, assembly drawing bottom and I also uh, redraw, redraw the board outline on these layers. Now I'm going to rename the layers F2, press F2 Press F2 It is then more clear and also I will create a layer set is then easier to look on the assembly drawing. See? Everything what I need to do now is uh, just place these uh, designators uh, with one way and make it uh, look a little bit better. Make it easier. What uh, text needs to be rotated, and also to make it easy to pick up only text. I'll use filter, which select only text which is in wrong rotation. And basically, these are the this is the text what I need to correct. When you are using the filter, don't forget to select mask to mask all the other objects and leave only the text. I've done the top layer and now I'm going to do the bottom and make it easier. You can use view and flip the board. Now the board is as you see it when you flip it uh, in the reel. I'm happy now with the designators and I'm going to print it. I open the job file and I will create new assembly drawing I will set up some parameters I can delete all this If you want to have one to one, then select scale one, but I want to fit it to whole page. 
and if you want to use colors set up colors here I'm going to print only very simple document if you if you would like to more customize the output then uh, you can have a look on uh, my other video about assembly drawings Now we can send this into production and they will be able to fit the components correctly. In case you set up your variants, then uh, check if you also enable it to show in assembly drawing here check this and uh, select it here and you can print And now the document will also show what components are not fitted. As I already mentioned, you can also customize the, the output and uh, more information about how to do it you can find on my well done blog in this uh, post. I would also recommend my other post about how to configure variants in uh, Altium Designer because it's really useful. One, once it's set up, it will save you a lot of time. I hope you found this video useful and uh, thank you very much for watching.